Oh, oh damn, watch out, you guys. I'm back in the house. This guy said I'm back to take your money. Yeah. <laughs> watch out. But anyway, let's get to this. Well, actually, you know what? I, I actually did some trophy pushing this uh, week. And uh, our clan has uh, got pretty high. Not as high as we got last time. I think last time we got to like the top 50. But this one was a pretty good push. So I wanted to share some gameplay with you guys. Let you know what's going on. So that you guys can see what it's like when you trophy push with your clan. Now, I don't know about you. But when I push, I like to be safe. So let me explain to you guys how I do my pushes, my method, and maybe you guys can take something away from this. Alright, but first of all, let me say something to you, okay? When I did that Christmas uh, video, I was sick. So yeah, I, I haven't been myself lately, but I don't know. Because I was like, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was trying to like work on this video and I don't know what happened, but the sickness came over me. And I tried to like hide it, but it, it wasn't working, so. I think I'm better now. <coughs> yeah, I'm better. But anyway, we got this new video up, you guys. So here it is. Check out my trophy pushing. Here I go. Now, the method that I'm using is, uh, I call it an archer rush. Now, this consists of a team of archers and golems to back you up. Golems are basically your, uh, your tanks. Golems are going to be the ones that are going to pull all the weapon fire so that your archers can clean up the resources in the building structures in the back and get that 50 star you're looking for. If you guys want a solid attack strategy, this may cost you some dark elixir, but hey, you know what? Golems aren't cheap, but this is a guaranteed win. Now I can't guarantee, you know what though, I can't guarantee wins with the uh, witches all the time and I don't know. If you're looking to win, you're going to have to spend a lot of resources. Because uh, winning teams require lots of resources. But this is my method of trying to tone it down. The cheapest team I can think of. Now, I know a lot of people are actually using uh, balloons and minions as a cheaper way of doing it. The only thing about minions I would or balloons is they do take a while to train up. I think if you're trying to use at least 15 or 20 of those and the rest minions then um, you know I, I'm not sure exactly how long it will take but for for my team I'm just doing three golems and that's about an hour and a half of wait time which is actually pretty good you know because archers can spawn and get cooked up really quick but I've noticed that actually a lot now in the champion leagues everyone's actually just trying to go for that 50 star just because um, when you go all out and you use big teams that cost a lot you know I would say 60 to 70 percent of the time you're gonna get a, a one star anyway so I would just you know set up my team so that I get one stars and try and be as cheap as possible making it constructing this team so I go for 50 stars now, and it seems a lot of other players are doing the same. But that's okay, because I'm getting the money. Oh yeah. So I don't know, maybe you guys have noticed that too. Maybe you guys can put down in the comment box and let me know what kind of teams you guys have seen at your trophy level. Uh, if you guys are doing the same thing, just going for that one star. I don't really see how you can farm at this level. Nah, I knew I'll take that back. You can farm, you just gotta be, uh, you just have to be on shield a lot and try and stay away from fights but that's what I, that's kind of what I'm doing right now I just maintain the that medium right where you hit champion league and go for that weak shield because after after you hit the the trophy leagues the 3200 they take away your shields you, you probably I think they changed it now so that you could buy a day shield a day or two shield but you can't buy like any other shields so that's one thing I've noticed but it's really cool being up here. You get to fight a lot of strong people. So, big shout out to my clan, you guys. Uh, they've pushed really hard. And uh, we got up there pretty good. And a uh, shout out to anybody else. If you have your own clan and you're trying to lead them and push. You know, it's, it's it takes a team effort to actually pull a team together and get that thing done. Now, I don't... I know I have a white hog rider on this video, but I'm not going to use no more hog riders because those inferno towers look like they are death. They just are looking for witches and hog riders. You know, I don't even, I don't even think it matters because uh, 
Even if they, with those new Infernal Towers, no, well, I haven't really seen how it is down in Crystal League, but I mean, if you can get level five Hog Riders at Crystal, they, they're still doing work down there. Hog Riders are pretty much useless up here in Champion League. Man. So, I could be wrong. If you guys still use them, uh, my hat goes off to you, but I can't. So, I'm sticking to a basic team where I could just get that 50 star. So yeah, you guys, I try to do a live raid. I was trying to record and do a live uh, live raid. I was gonna post this on uh, Twitch, Twitch TV, but I just had too much uh, traffic and background noise, so I just decided to do it this way. Maybe uh, in the future, because I have uh, a better uh, place now where I have less noise, background noise, so I can do this stuff. And I got a new mic, the Blue Yeti. Not sure if you guys could tell the difference, but it's pretty good, pretty clear quality. And, uh,. It lasted me pretty good doing this uh, this raid up to Champion Leagues again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. This was just my tips and tricks how I got uh, how I do my trophy pushes with my clan. And hopefully you guys could use some of these techniques. Just use golems as your uh, tanks and archers could clean it up. Send out your wall breakers to pull heroes. It's always a good idea and a good concept to take heroes and clan troops out before you do your push before you raid somebody so just keep that in mind and you guys stay sexy i'll see you next time